on Chick Smooth. My man Chick Smooth is in here. Chick, I want to be on Chick Smooth shit tomorrow. If you ask me, I'm going to be very fair about it. I think this is going to be a hit. Hate on me. M Meek has always been the guy, whether he's really been hated on or he's making it up. He knows that's a channel, the, the energy of niggas want me to lose, right? And and he could make a good song when he ha he's in that energy. So I think that should be, should be good. Outside, 100 miles per hour. I could imagine that's him just... We didn't get this one yet, right? I think this is him just going off. I think this is probably going to be good, too. On my soul, I think it's gonna be probably more melodic. Um, maybe no one like you know singing feature, but I think there's probably a choir or some type of sample. We'll see. Sharing locations, I thought that was cool. Uh, you know, it felt like a Meek Mill verse though. You get me? And I've been saying recently, I want Meek to be on records. Like again, if you're gonna drop a record and just like pretty much be just to be a part of the record, that's not your record. Like, you know, difference than when people compare or complain about DJ Khaled or French Montana. And, like, you know, Meek is obviously a way better rapper than those two. But I think Meek has been really re relying on those um, features to kind of help him out. So, sharing locations, I don't really think anything of it. Expensive Pain. Um, if I was going to listen to a few or, say, three, uh, three tracks to understand what he's talking about, Expensive Pain would be one of them for me to understand the concept. Ride for you, Kalani. I, I, I'm thinking a song more along the lines of "You Gonna Fall Through," like that type of song. Except for Kalani, I'm expecting something like that. By the way, I, I'm gonna be honest. I just don't like they ain't no drink. I don't think there are no fucking hits on this shit. I'm gonna be honest with you. Um, um, unless maybe it's a late Drake feature, right? Um, so that's the joint with Kalani. Me f with me with. ASAP Ferg. I'm hoping that's a club up tempo joint. And maybe that's that joint kind of like moves around a little bit. But I don't think it's a super rappy joint. I think that's a meant for the club type joint. Okay. Um, what else? Hot feature Moneybag Yo. I think this song's gonna be in Moneybag Moneybag's Yo Lane type of shit. You know, like of the songs you normally hear from him. I don't, I don't know. It could be hot. I don't know. Love Train. I think this is him again. Trying to you know use and and focus on like that realm of him benefiting the, off songs like you know fall true you know what I mean fall through actually right um we slide with young thug no no north side south side with gigs uh, I'm gonna be honest with you anytime Meek has ever collabed with people who are international it feels like it's for the algorithm it doesn't feel natural so maybe him and gigs could do some I haven't liked gigs on many songs with U.S. artists. Not with him and, um, what's his name again? Drake. Don't have nothing against him. It's just I like it. When I'm listening to U.S. music, he just doesn't sound natural as a fit. You know, I've, you know, other people have sound natural at, in times, you know, for example, um, Dave and others, right? Um, is that Bronny? Bronny just subs? That's not Bronny, is it? Let me see if it's really Bronny. Yeah, Bronny, what's good, nigga? Probably somebody impersonating Bronny. Is that Bronny? It is? Bronny, why did you want to follow me on Instagram after I posted that you were smoking a little weed, brother? <laughs> That's what I want to ask him. Bronny, I posted you were smoking a little weed, man. Everybody smoking a little weed, man. Bronny was following me before I looked up. That nigga oh, follow me. That nigga did not want his dad to find out. You already got your ass open for that shit, nigga. Follow me back, boy. Follow me back, nigga. The fuck? <laughs> Follow me the fuck back. You already got your ass whipping for that? Feel me? By the way, I'm on 2K. I want to give you an ass whipping on there, too. You know what I mean? Like father, like son. Okay? <laughs> it's all good. It's all good. All right, cool. Um, We slide tweaking featuring Vori. I like the guy Vori, though. Vori's, a, I think he's a really decent artist. You know, I think Meek is, I don't think he has a bad ear. I just think he has a bad spirit. So, like, artists won't sign with him. Like, if you look at many artists who had the opportunity to sign with him, like, I feel I feel they could tell that Meek is a selfish motherfucker and he's all about using people to try to keep his shit going. Not that he's the only one. Many artists are like that. But just 
Meek is not that hot. Like, you know, Meek should be trying to sign. You, you see how, like, Bibby signed the next, or Bibby signed, what's, what's homie's name? Um, What's the kid's name? Um, the, 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 the dude I just told you got jumped at Rolling Loud or whatever his name is. Um, Kid Leroy, right? Like, he signed Kid Leroy, and it's because he realized that, yo, yo, Baby, you'll never be as big as a Killer Roy type, type artist. And he signed that artist knowing and expecting him to be that big. I think Meek ain't trying to sign people to like be bigger than him. And I think a lot of people ain't trying to do That's why I give credit to Ross. I think Ross realized that, bro, you know what you are. And I give credit to um, um, Wayne as well. I think Wayne knew that Drake was had the potential to be bigger than him. And rather than just saying, let me use Drake to try to keep myself afloat, he said, no, let Drake go on his own path. I think that's dope. Um, let me keep going. So Savoria, so I, I think he I think he has he got some real real he has a real chance. Well, let's see how Meek treats him. And Meek, you know, like Meek should let that nigga just do him. You know what I mean? And don't I'm gonna be honest with you. Meek, you're polarizing just like me. This is real advice I'm giving. Don't have Vori claim Dream Chasers too much. Let him do him. You can still sign him. Let him do him. That Dream Chaser shit is for like rappers who wanna be beefing and like all that shit. Let that nigga go do him. Appear on Kanye's sh shit, appear on everybody's shit, and get himself in a, in his own pocket. And I guarantee he's gonna make more money in music than you, because I think that's the talent of a singer rather than a rapper. You know what I mean? Like, listen, look at Bibby. He's gonna make more money off Killer Roy than off his own career. He, you know what I mean? He made more money off Juice Roy than off his own career. And not saying that Meeky and Talented or whatever the case is, but you you gotta allow some of these artists to just do them. Right, like they don't want to be like like this is twenty twenty no or twenty twenty one. Nobody want to be under the umbrella of some nigga who's like, yo, it's it's act like like it's this person's label and we have to rep this. We have to rep Dream Chasers. Nobody want to do that no more. Like to be honest, for the new kids, like Dream Chasers is old. You know what I mean? So let him rep whatever you want to rep. You keep signing them. Like look how look how uh, P does with, with his artists and look how Yo Gotti does. Free, non paid advice. Obviously, I don't think they're going to um, really take it in, but we'll see. Okay. Um, Love Money. Sounds like a Meek Mill track. Love Money. Okay. Blue Nose 2 with Lil Uzi Vert. I think that was kind of a cool track. It was a pretty cool track. Angels, R.I.P. Snoop. Um, I thought there was supposed to be Snoop and Nipsey on this. We'll see what this is about. Cold Hearted 3. Meek has a whole little series, like, you know, that fuck with that Cold Hearted shit. Halo with Brent Fires. I would like to hear how Meek sounds with Brent Fires and Flamers Flow. That's obviously like a really old school, like, you know, reminiscent of like Meek before, you know, Meek with a nappy braids and center. I would like to hear that too. Again, um, maybe Meek is just going for an album that's just about showing y'all that he's nice. Um, this album off track listing doesn't seem like he's trying to um, do the most to try to be on the charts. I could be wrong. We could see things later. But I would like to see what he got going on. You get me? And hopefully that's subjective for y'all, but it's what it is. Alrighty. 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 Bronny said, check my whispers. Is this really Bronny? Oh, I got to click on this. How do I click on people's names? 